Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. This one is going to be specifically for Microsoft 2020 and the Logitech light panel display not lighting up. Even though you've got the drivers installed, everything's plugged in and so on. So what you want to do uh, initially is go into the video description and there is going to be a line of code uh, that you're going to need to copy and paste. Uh, then you want to open up Notepad and you want to take that and paste it into here. So it should say at echo off and then the registry string that I have listed. This top uh, portion right here is just for your reference. That is the directory that we're going to place this in. So this is not part of the uh, actual file that we're going to create. So we can uh, get rid of that. So what you want to do is you want to come down to uh, your start menu down here and hit the Windows key and R. That's going to bring up your run menu. You want to type shell colon startup. I've got it right here. And then you hit OK. And that is going to take you to the directory that I have listed above. Right here. So as you can see, it's it's users. For me, it's Captain Banks. And then it's App Data, Roaming, Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, Programs, and then your startup. This directory is what Windows uses to uh, initiate a program that you want activated during the startup procedure. So we are going to take the file that we've we've got here in Notepad minus, uh, like I said, minus, minus this. We, that is not going to be part of the file. So your file should look just like this. You want to take this and you want to save it. You hit save as. You can save it however, whatever name you want to call it. You know, I've called mine uh, reset USB ports.txt. So you hit save. Mine will ask me if I want to replace it because I already have it. I just hit yes. Okay, then you close out of that. So go to the directory that you just saved that in. And mine is, I saved it under downloads. And you want to rename it. Uh, firstly, you want to go to view. You want to make sure this file name extensions box is ticked. So it'll show you the .txt. So now you want to right click it, rename, and then you want to delete the txt and put in Bravo Alpha Tango, B-A-T, and then hit enter. It'll ask you that you are going to make become unstable. You sure you want to change it? Yes. Okay, so now... You want to take this, you want to copy it, you want to go back, one back arrow one to your startup, uh, roaming Microsoft Windows start menu programs in your startup directory, and you want to paste this in here. As you can see, I already I changed, I had to rename mine to TXT just for this tutorial, but right there is the bat file. So we can go ahead and delete. I'll delete my text file just to avoid confusion. There you go. So now you should have whatever the, the whatever you called your file. I called mine reset USB ports bat, and it's in the startup folder. So now you should be able to restart your PC, load up Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 just as you would normally. You're not going to notice any difference in the boot up process at all. And then when you're in the plane, you want to go ahead and you want to double click your Logitech Microsoft Flight Simulator plugin icon. And your panel lights should come to life. I hope this helps. If it did, please give it a like. A possible subscription would be, would be great. I am a new channel just starting out. Uh, other than that, I appreciate every one of you and take care of yourselves and each other and we'll see you next time in uh, another video. Take care.